so today I'm going to be playing the vampire pack again. I created a sim um, named Dylan Deal and it was someone who wanted to be a vampire um, and she's obsessed with vampires but she um, yeah she was trying to meet meet people around town in Forgotten Hollow and um, and wanted to become a vampire and I didn't think last time we were going to be able to change her or turn her into a vampire but it actually happened after she um, became friends with Caleb which is the neighbor that lives in this neighborhood so um, this time I'm just going to be kind of seeing what happens um, with her being a vampire and what can we do so let's play so dylan is strangely hungry and so last time i'm going to pause really quick last time caleb turned her caleb over here turned her into a vampire bit her um actually i didn't see last time can you see her bite marks let me see no it doesn't look like it and I haven't looked at, looked up what can you do with a vampire or with the vampire game pack. So let's see <laughs> when I do a lot of exploring because I, I have actually have no idea what she can do now, now that she's turning into a vampire. So um, the only people I've met is Caleb and then um, Lilith, who lives in Caleb's house. I don't know. I don't know what their relationship is, if they're uh, married or brothers or sisters, but um, okay, so what I'm going to do is maybe go to the park and maybe we can see what the interaction is with non-vampires, so, and since she's hungry, oh, what is this? Greetings, child. My ancient plasma senses you have recently been turned. It will take a few days to fully change into a vampire, but fear not, the night awaits. Hmm. Okay. So it's going to take a few days, so she's still half human, half vampire. Um, but still, let's see what happens. If, if anything weird happens with talking to someone new. What is happening? <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, she hates comedy. And this lady just made a joke. Okay. Okay, let's say we're enthused about vampires. Okay. I should really get going. Okay, bye, Caleb. I forgot you were at the house anyways. Last time when we created Dylan, I made her into a klepto, so I'm gonna be enthused. Because I, I actually have never played a sim as a klepto, and um, I know that they're able to steal things, but I haven't been able to figure out how to do that yet. So I'm assuming that you have to build some sort of skill. I wonder what happens if we have her eat regular food, since it says that she's disgusted by food. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have her try to eat regular um, human food. Oh my gosh, there's a spider right there. Huh. Okay, her hunger is going up. Maybe since she's still like transitioning into a vampire, she's she's still eating like normal. One thing I didn't do last time was um, meet the master vampire, which is, um, I think his name's like Count Vladivostrad. <laughs> I might do that this time. I wanted to wait to do that, but um, maybe we'll see some more interesting stuff meeting him now that he knows that she's turning into a vampire as well. Have her go to sleep too, just so she can be energized, and then we'll go to... Count, or what's his name? 
Vladis, Vlad, I don't know if it's, he's a count, maybe I just made that up. Um, the master vampire. He should be awake since he's a vampire. That was another thing that I wanted to see last time was um, what happens when the vampire is out during the day because I think vampires, they can't be in sunlight, right? So um, Caleb, who is a vampire, visited her house in the sunlight, so maybe they can. Oh, he is a count. I didn't make that up. <laughs> okay, <gasps> there he is. Hello. Oh my gosh, wait, pause. Let's have her change. So last time I didn't do all of her outfits. I just designed um, like her main one. Oh. I'll work on her, all of her different vampire outfits. <gasps> okay, I don't know why I keep pausing. So. Okay, hello. Frederick Shinichi. Farl Haytham Young. Okay, I'm gonna be enthused about vampires. Let's see what he says. I don't know, his voice sounds like more happy than you would think a count, Count's voice would sound like. Let's discuss interests. Let's see what he's interested in. Oh no, she's getting cold. She's yeah. sad. Okay, let's explore his house or let's see if he'll let us in. I love the vines. <gasps> Hold on, my, another, my Sims kind of froze for a second. <gasps> Ooh! This looks extravagant. Oh! attempt to swipe so she's starting to have the options to steal things i'm not gonna steal things from the master vampire's house though because i don't yeah i don't wanna i don't know get shunned by him okay let's explore okay that was a creepy laugh from him by the way <gasps> he disappeared. Okay, okay. Let's uh, let's go in here. Oh, there he's playing the organ. How creepy. So let's go into this little dining room situation. Wow, it's so fancy. I really like these frames, though. Okay, I can admire. What other things can I steal? Not now, but at some point while I play this game, maybe in the next few streams, I want to attempt to swipe something from his house. But again, I don't want to do it right now because <laughs> I don't want her to like die or anything. Wow, he's really good. And this is like really creepy. Giving me Haunted Mansion vibes from Disneyland. <laughs> okay, he has a mirror. Oh my gosh, you can't, <gasps> what's happening to her? Okay, she's hungry, that's why she's looking like that, but she loves pipe organs, but I gasped earlier because um, vampires can't see the reflection, right? Let's have her practice dancing. Okay. So she can see her reflection. But I want to test that when she actually fully turns into a vampire and see. Oh, she's like really feeling that pipe, pipe organ. <laughs> that scared me for a second. Can you, oh, you could you could steal that too. A living room there's a what is this some type of bird at first I thought it was like the Beauty and the Beast <laughs> rose but like a white one but no it's like a I don't know what kind of bird that is 
Okay, so let's go upstairs first. There looks to be like an upstairs and downstairs. Looks like bedroom. There's more levels. Ooh, this artwork is pretty cool looking. Another thing I want to do is um, decorate her house and make it look more spooky because it I mean, it looks kind of dirty, but it's not giving me vampire vibes. Looking around to see what else I could steal. Oh, she's still she's still dancing to that pipe organ there. Actually, I've never seen this in a house before. Where it, is this inside or outside? It looks like a little like balcony viewing area. To the living room. That's pretty cool. Let's go to the third level. Oh, what's this? Is this like a dungeon? <laughs> hmm. There is another lair up here at top. The top looks like a little office situation. Interesting that there's this like little area here. I wonder what the Count uses that for. He has holiday decorations up. <laughs> He's festive. Um, okay. So where is... <gasps> are they talking? Okay. Dylan has learned the following traits about Vlad. Vladis Vlas. He's evil. Will the Count be offended if she has a ham and cheese sandwich? Her aspiration is to become the master vampire, so she, I think she, she wants to take him down, basically. So, but I think her technique is probably be her, his friend first, you know, get the vibes and then figure out how she can be the master vampire. So, I wonder what his reaction is going to be with her eating. Oh. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like it. Oh, she just doesn't like being near him. Oh, okay, so she really doesn't like... <laughs> Let's explore downstairs. <gasps> oh my gosh. Let's have her go down here. There's coffins. And the pipe organ. <gasps> Let's read the epitaph. Wait, is she starting to do that? No those noises? Let's read this one. Blank. Let's have her sleep in this one. I don't know, this one seems like grand. I don't want her to lay in there until she's actually a full vampire. <sighs> it's creaky too. I wonder if the Count, like, is okay with her sleeping because, like, what's happening? I thought, what is she doing? Oh, okay, she's browsing the web. Oh, her stomach is not happy. Oh. Okay, I was saying earlier that I don't know um, if the Count wants her to, or like is allowing her to sleep in the house because like in, in other, like, non-vampire sim situation, like, if you visit someone else's house and you try to sleep in their bed, they get really mad. So, where's she going? <laughs> really happy. Oh, she likes the rain. Nothing fills this empty stomach anymore. Thirsty and, hmm, claustrophobic nightmare. Okay. Oh, so she was scared to sleep in the coffin. I mean... I would be too. Um, I wonder where the count went. 
Do you think he's sleeping in that other coffin? Should we check? Oh, you can claim it? No, I don't want to do that yet. Okay, we'll do that when she be actually becomes a full-on vampire. I feed her even though she doesn't like real food anymore. I wonder if, I don't know if any of you watched True Blood before, but they have on True Blood, a uh, synthetic blood that vampires drink called True Blood. Or was it called True Blood? I can't remember, but th yeah, it was like a synthetic blood. I wonder if they have something like that in The Sims. So instead of her like biting people, humans, if she could like have a supplement of blood. Oh, let's see. Nauseated. Okay, you don't have to finish that then. Oh, I'm gonna try to steal something. <laughs> I think we'll maybe go outside of Forgotten Hollow because there's not really many houses there. I actually haven't explored many of these houses, but I don't know if they'll have furniture in them. We'll try to find another, another house. Or we could go to one of the other houses that I've built and steal from another family <laughs> that I've created. For a long time I was playing the 100 baby challenge on The Sims, so there's a house that has a lot of stuff in there. But I wanted to keep everything in there just to, ugh, no one lives here. Maybe if we move someone in. I'm gonna do the Disney princes, which I used during the 100 baby challenge. We're gonna move them into this mansion. Okay, that's like the only house they can afford. Okay, let's... <laughs> I've seen all of these Disney princes before since I, yeah, they were a part of the 100 Baby Challenge, but I can't remember some of these princes. There's Florian, I don't remember where he's from. Li Shang, which I believe is from Mulan. We have Aladdin. This is Adam, I, Henry, Prince Philip, John Smith from Pocahontas, and Eric. Let's switch back to Dylan, and then we'll go to the Disney prince's house and try to steal something, which sucks as their house is small, so there's not going to be as many things, but I want we need to have her try to steal something little first before plotting to um, steal the uh, statue from the Count Vladivlos house. Hello, Disney princes. Let's talk to Aladdin. Oh my gosh, what if <laughs> when she can turn other people into vampires, Maybe we can turn one of the Disney princes into a vampire. <laughs> okay, let's knock on their house and try to steal something. Okay. Can I only steal things of like high value? Is that why at the, um, oh, the Count's house. Why is he naked now? <laughs> Uh, I guess I can't steal anything from from their house. Well, I think um, next time or at some point, I'll turn. Oh, she is. She's turning into a vampire. Oh my gosh. And what is her outfit? What is this? <laughs> A hot mess. Lee, okay, yes. He doesn't like fitness. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. She's a vampire now. Okay, and she's with the Disney princesses. Who should she feast on first? Um... Okay, what is this? A strange thirst. So thirsty, water isn't cutting it anymore. Okay, so she's talking to John Smith. Oh, look. It's a bat. So let's 
Say hello. We're gonna try to... There's like too many people in this house, so they're just like all in the way and all changing into their pajamas. Oh, I didn't even notice this. So there's vampire energy. Vampire energy uses vampire... Or vampires use vampire energy to perform powers and protect themselves from the harsh rays of the sun. Okay. Recover vampire en energy by sleeping or dark meditation. Okay. Oh, so now she doesn't have a hunger. She has thirst. Vampires do not get thirsty very often, but be sure to drink from sims or eat plasma fruit when they do. Otherwise, they may attack a nearby sim without warning. Okay, so when I was talking about true blood earlier, I was wondering if there was going to be something that they could supplement instead of, like, drinking from humans. So it sounds like the fruit. Okay. Um, hygiene seems the same. Fun seems the same. Social seems the same. And then what is this? So there's rewards. Minor vampire. Fledging vampire. Okay, so this is probably how she will become a uh, master vampire. This is how she'll build up. Let's uh, drink someone's blood. Recall mortal life. Oh, there we go. Vampire. Drink plasma. So you can ask permission for a drink. Asking for permission to drink will grant some thirst. I Let's compel for a drink. Because I don't think anyone would be willing to... Especially these people. She just met them. I don't think they'd be willing to give her blood. But let's see what happens when she compels them. <gasps> she looks scary. Oh. Can you see his bite marks? Possibly that right there. So it looks like when she starts doing vampire-y things, she like turns and she changes into that outfit. That plasma really hit the spot. Count Vladivostok Strauss. Ah, a new child of the night. As an elder vampire, it is my honor to welcome you to our family. Your new thirst for plasma takes some getting used to. Remember, thirst can be uncomfortable, but it won't kill you. Here are some plasma packs to keep you fed for the first few days. Just stay out of the sun and you'll be fine. <gasps> There's a fire! Like, everyone is, like, running and she is the only one trying to... Whoa! She put the fire out. <laughs> John Smith is burnt to a crisp. Ooh, I can swipe a book. Let's try that. <laughs> Let's see if John Smith will notice. He didn't notice. Ha ha ha. <laughs> he passed out. Sorry, dude. Johnson's not having a great day. He got bit by a vampire and then almost burnt to a crisp. So let's have her go home now. I'm excited now that she's a, officially a vampire. After she learns the ropes a little bit, we'll turn one of the Disney princes or maybe all of them into vampires. We can move them into Forgotten Hollow too. They'll be like dark princes. <laughs> Just thought of something and I want to see if she can see herself um, in her reflection. <gasps> she cannot. No reflection. Okay, okay. 
She's really a vampire. Well, you know what she has is that vampire book. Oh, what are these? Oh, that's the plasma pack. So she can have that if she's in a pinch and is thirsty. <gasps> she's doing the growling. We need to upgrade her house. I read that vampires can be out during the day as long as they have a ceiling over their head, which stops the most powerful of the sun rays. Mm, so if you're inside during the day. All right, well, I think I am going to end the stream here. Um, I think next time I'll probably decorate her house to make it a little bit more, more spooky and then probably interact with the other vampires more and then eventually turn one of the Disney princes into a dark prince, a vampire. Um, all right, thank you all for watching and goodbye. <laughs>